Hello everyone! In this video we'll quickly walk you through the installation and wiring of the 48V 100A rack battery with the EcoWorthy inverter. We'll demonstrate the process step by step so you can quickly grasp the key wiring steps of the entire off-grid system and all the important details to pay attention to. Before installing the inverter, make sure to leave 6 inches of space on both sides and 2 inches on the top and the bottom to ensure proper airflow. When installing, choose screws or expansion bolts according to the wall material so they can support the weight of the inverter. For wooden frames, you can use self tapping screws. For concrete walls, expansion bolts are recommended to ensure secure mounting. First, measure the mounting hole positions. Use a level to mark the two center points on the surface with a spacing of 210 mm. Here we'll demonstrate using a perforated board, but if you're installing on another type of wall, please refer to our manual. The installation angle also matters. Ensure the wiring ports face downward and the inverter is mounted vertically at 90 degrees. Next, let's start preparing the battery pack. There are four steps in total. Please note that before connecting in parallel, each battery must be fully charged individually to ensure consistent voltage and prevent reverse current between batteries. Now that the batteries are properly installed and arranged, we will begin connecting them step by step. Step 1. Connect all the battery positives to the bus bar on the left side of the rack. Ensure all the screws are tightened with a recommended torque of 10 to 12 nanometers. Next, connect the battery negative terminals. Step 2. Connect the communication cables between each battery. Step 3. Set the 6 position DIP switch. Refer to the manual to assign addresses. Set the main battery to 1 and assign others incrementally. Step 4. Ground the battery bank to ensure electrical safety. Ok, the batteries are ready. Now we'll open the inverter's bottom cover to prepare for connection. You can see the battery wiring terminals and communication ports. We need to take out the battery connection cable. This cable is 1.5 meters times 2. American wire gauge, suitable for battery connections. Then use the bus bar to connect the positive and negative terminals of multiple batteries together. After completing the battery connections, connect the battery positive to the inverter's BAT plus terminal and the negative to the BAT minus terminal. This is the special communication cable for the battery and inverter. If it's not included in your package, please contact us to obtain one. Connect the battery's RS-485 port to the inverter's RS-485 port to establish communication. Now we can power on the battery and the inverter. First switch on the circuit breaker, then turn on the power switch. Turn on the inverter switch. Now both the battery and inverter are powered on. Connect the RS-232 port between the battery and the monitor. Through the display you can view all battery information and set the communication protocol of the main battery. For parameter settings, set parameter 32 to 485 and parameter 33 to PYL. Since our batteries default to the pylon protocol, no settings are required on the battery side. Once communication is successful, you can see the real-time SOC data on an inverter screen. If communication fails, error code 58 will appear, indicating you need to check whether the inverter and battery protocols match. Before connecting the PV cables, turn off the inverter. Next, turn off the battery power to ensure no output. Once both the battery and inverter are completely shut down, the system enters a standby mode. Please wait 5 minutes before proceeding, otherwise there is a risk of electric shock. Now let's move on to the PV wiring. We recommend using 10 American wire gauge or larger cables, stripping 1 4th to 5 16th inch, 6 to 8 millimeters of insulation. Connect the PV positive wire to the inverter's PV plus port and the negative wire to the PV minus port. These are the cables required for AC wiring. Be sure to use 7 American wire cage cables and ensure that the circuit breaker can handle 63 ampere of AC current. For AC output wiring, connect the inverter's AC output to your sub-panel or electrical devices 
As before, ensure all switches are turned off during the process. If you have two inverters, you can connect them in parallel to output 120 volts or 240 volts AC with up to 10 kilowatts power. Of course, this requires additional wiring and setup. There are two options when operating in parallel, single phase and split phase. In single phase mode, both inverters share the same AC input source with neutral live and ground connected in parallel. The same applies to the outputs and the voltage between the two output live wires is zero. In split phase mode, use a standard split phase 240 volt source. Connect L1 and L2 to the two inverters respectively, with neutral and ground still parallel. In this case, the voltage between the two output live wires is 240 volts. Use the included communication and current sharing cables to connect the two inverters together. All inverters must be connected to the same battery bank with the parallel and current sharing ports wired accordingly. Now turn on the battery switch and the inverter switch in sequence. Please enter the settings page immediately after the inverter is powered on to avoid setup failure. If you're using a single phase system, set parameter 31 to PAL. For split phase systems, set inverter 1 to 2PO and inverter 2 to 2P2. Okay, the basic wiring and setup are complete. Next, let's look at some key settings and parameters you should be aware of. The system supports multiple charging and discharging modes. You can choose PV priority, utility priority, or hybrid mode, depending on your application. This inverter comes with a data logger. You can check the data through the app. Now you've successfully completed the connection of the 48 volt 100 ampere hour rack battery with the EcoWordis 5 kilowatt inverter system. If you have any questions, please follow us and leave us a message. We'll get back to you as soon as possible.